Hi everyone! In this video series we'll be designing and building a townhouse using SketchUp. And this townhouse has a few requirements which we'll be going over. And the first thing you'll need to know is that this will be using the free version of SketchUp Make 2017, which you can find online. Um, and let's just get started. So basically when you open up SketchUp you'll have the first thing it says, oh, start the trial or whatever free pro version. Don't worry about that. Just open the templates and then we're going to be designing using feet and inches because our, our uh, draft drawing is in feet and inches. Um, and the requirement is to design a townhouse that's 750 square feet. We'll talk about how you can break that down in just a second. So you press start using SketchUp and then it's going to open up uh, the tool. And when it first opens, um, there's a few simple things that you can do to make your life a bit easier. Uh, first of all, if you go up to the view and you go to toolbars, um, I actually like having the large tool set on the side. This actually allows you to have quick access to a lot of the handy tools that you end up using a lot. The There's a whole bunch of other things you can play around with here. Um, I think it's views, yeah, views is what I'm looking for. Views allows you to quickly jump to the different angles, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it here. There. Allows you to quickly jump to like front view, side view, top view, which we'll be using a lot, which I think is important. So the main ones you want are the to large tool set and the views. Then, uh, once you have this going, the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to uh, learn a little bit about navigation. So if you scroll in and out, you'll see that it'll be zooming in on your subject and you have a, what's called a scale person, which you can use to help figure out the scale. Um, if you use the middle mouse button, um, that allows you to spin. If you click down on the middle mouse button, that allows you to spin around. Um, it's a lot harder to use a touchpad. I highly recommend that you use a three button mouse for most CAD tools. It's a three button mouse configuration. Uh, so middle mouse button lets you spin. If you hold shift and press the middle mouse button, it lets you pan. Now all of these tools are also available as an actual button that you can click and then switch between. But I find it's a lot easier and faster to switch between those tools by using the middle mouse button because it allows you to kind of pan around. I can look at a different angle and spin. If I were to build something, I'll just quickly build something so you can see how that allows me to like change the angle and see what it is that I'm actually building. And when you're using a CAD tool, it's so important to get comfortable with navigation first before you start building because it allows you to actually uh, look down at your design and see exactly where it is that you need to um, improve or maybe it looks good at one angle but not the others. So that's the basic navigation using the middle mouse button, holding shift to pan, zooming in and out. Now the one thing about zooming is if you if you hold your mouse button wherever the mouse is pointing is where you're going to be zooming. So if I am pointing at that corner and I want to zoom in there versus pointing here and zooming in here you'll notice that it actually zooms wherever it is that I want to look at. If I want to look at his face, I can zoom in on his face. So that's, spend a minute to get comfortable with that and then you can watch the next video.